Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is Ryan, back into the video on Madden Ultimate Team, and right now, we're gonna be opening up the Monster Bundle, but first and foremost, take a look at all the crazy most feared cards we got on our team. I just wanted to make a whole lineup of them. Why not? I mean, why not play with them while we have the chance? If you guys want to see a gameplay, please let me know, because I have no problem playing a couple games, getting you guys some gameplays of these beasts, and see how they play. But, right now, we have Rob Gronkowski, we have Terrell Suggs, we have Dez Bryant, in packs right now as well as a limited edition rob ninkovich football outsiders so let's go ahead and take a look at that gronk let's see what he's looking like in his morph stage we saw what he looked like before he morphed but now we're going to look at what he looks like in his enraged form so 99 overall rob gronkowski a speed run style 90 speed 99 catching 102 catching traffic 97 spectacular catch 100 strength seven foot nine absolute monster i would not want to go up against that card at all but, you know, he has one point whatever million. I got Levi and Tiolo. I don't need Gronk. So, if I get Gronk, of course, he's going to go on the auction block. Might get a gameplay of him, but I'm not going to keep him on my team. I don't think anyone should. I mean, yeah, they're okay cards when they're not morphed, but are they really worth the crazy price tag? I'm not sure. There's Terrell Suggs, 8 foot tall, 90 speed, 100 tackle, 99 pursuit with 98 power, which is hit power, and 95 player rec. Absolute beast of a player. I mean, I don't know why that's going for so cheap. Um, he's only already down to like 300 something K, which is crazy to me. I know he's not the best of the all the limited editions, but he's still a really good player. And of course, we still have Des Bryant in packs. I don't know how many are left. As you guys see, 249 out of 300. And Des Bryant, I mean, that's an absolute beast of a card. I mean, 8 foot tall, 97 speed. It's all you really need. 102 spectacular catch. That would be fun to play with for sure. Uh, but other than that, I do, like I said, believe there's a Rob Ninkovich in packs. I have not seen it. I don't even know how to spell his name. Uh, let's put Ninko. Um, let's see if we can find him here. There he is. 92 overall, Rob Ninkovich. 92 left end with man defense style. 6 foot 2. It's kind of crazy looking at all those morph cards and looking at Rob Ninkovich. I mean, not really the best player, but you guys can go ahead and play with him if you get him. But I would recommend selling him. Not a very good player, like I said. I mean, if you're a Pats fan, whatever. But, I mean, in terms of all these other crazy cards we have, I don't really foresee anyone really wanting to play with that card and not like have like Muhammad Wilkerson or something like that. But without further ado, let's get into this monster bundle. Let's see if we can get a limited edition elite. We get a most feared quick sell, 250 coins, Benjamin Watson, Rob Sims, followed by an Eli Harold. So there we go. I didn't even know that card was in the game. I guess the 49ers got a bunch of most feared players. There's Jason McCourty, David Osbury, Phil Taylor, followed by a most feared cleats and a Luke Jokel. So the first pack, not the best, but I am expecting some nice things out of this bundle. This is a pretty big one. Biggest one I've done so far this year. So I'm definitely looking forward to pulling some elites here. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, if you guys want to watch London's bundle that he'll be doing, I'll have that down in the description below. And also in an annotation right now on the screen, there is Karan Reed, one of the new Football Outsiders players. Ben Grubbs, followed by a Jarius Wright. Corey Lindsley, a Most Feared Helmet. Austin Stafirian Jenkins. Trey Flowers is our most feared player. We got Whitney Merciless and a Chris Cook to end off that pack. So there's another New England Patriots player. Kind of sucks, you know, there's no Titans most feared players. And I know the running gag, the running joke, who's going to be scared of Titans players? I mean, I'd be scared of Jarrell Casey. So I know we already got a new card, but it's whatever. We got shoulder pads. There they are. Of course, we had to get shoulder pads. Mike Pinnell of the Green Bay Packers there, 92 overall defensive tackle. And yes, every single one of these players has morphed into a most feared monster, as they call them. They kind of all became like eight foot tall, crazy players, and it's kind of ridiculous to play online right now. There's Omar Bolden, 92 overall free safety. We got ourselves a Donald Penn. Kurt Coleman, did Donald Penn get a most feared player? I'm not even sure. Most feared bench, so there's an elite collectible, Rod Streeter. Jordan Reed and a Bruce Irvin. There's a card that I thought would get a most feared player for sure, but did not get one. So we got seven more packs. Let's get hype. Come on, let's get a limited edition Des Bryant. Let's get Gronkowski or Suggs. We got a most feared helmet again, and we got a most feared face mask and a Lamar Miller. So there's a nice pull. 87 overall. Team of the week, Lamar Miller. Might end up keeping that. We got a Fletcher Cox. There's elites everywhere in this pack. Patrick Chung, Andy Reed, James Ahedibo. There's a nice player right there to use. I'll be definitely sure to be using that in my gameplays when I have him. Tyler Eifert and Tim Jennings to end off that pack. So we're getting a little bit heated up. We got a couple of elites. Can we keep it going here? 
Brandon Pettigrew, we got Michael Kendricks, Most Fear Dumbbells, Trey Flowers again, Donald Butler, Devon House, Vinny Curry, Danny Lanzana, Ryan Schneider, and that's going to be the end of that pack. Ended on an EJ Gaines. So, I don't know, guys. Five more packs to go. Not looking too good in terms of, like, really good pulls, but maybe there's Trey Flowers again. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Eli Harold, we get two most feared players. Unfortunately, both silvers. Geno Hayes, Brandon Graham, Dwight Freeney, and a Dennis Pitta to end off that pack. So, got a couple more of these. Really, really hoping for something nice. Even the Rob Ninkovich would be good, but... My pack luck really hasn't been that great lately. I don't know why. I get a lot of good most feared, like, or uh, a lot of good quick sells, but not most feared players. There's the shoulder pads. We got Denoris Searcy, Joe Staley, and there we go. We got a Derek Johnson. At least it's an elite player. I mean, I'll take an elite over any of these random golds. At least they all sell for around 8K. And there we go. There's a Danny Trevathan, 95 overall most feared player, Riley Reef, and a Mike Daniels to finish off that pack. So we're kind of getting a little bit better pulls here. Getting a little bit of gold most feared players. Definitely look for them elites. We got Jadavian Clowney, really good budget player. Kobe Fleener, another one. We're looking for those elites. We're not looking for budget players. We're looking for some good cards here. Most feared helmet. We got ourselves a John Harbaugh and a Dree Archer. All right, there we go. There's a good most feared player. If we're going to get a silver, at least it's a Dree Archer. That's definitely one of the better players in this most feared promo. If you guys have not played with him yet, I recommend to get him. He's a very good player, at least until you still can. Uh, next pack here, Andre Brown, another Dree Archer. All right, so that's another, like, 15K in the coin bank. And another Dree Archer. So, whoa, we got two Dree Archers in one pack? That's pretty cool to see. Uh, we got ourselves a Chris Culliver, Isaiah Crowell, Eddie Royal, Greg Toller, Patriots Way Uniform, Andrew Hawkins, Vontaze Perfect, and a Denoris Searcy. So, I mean, if we're not going to get anything, as long as we're getting some Dree Archers, I'm okay with that, because at least they're at least, like I said, 15k a piece. That's a little bit of coins. We got ourselves a Jamie Collins out of this pack. That's the first card out. Aaron Lynch. We got John Beeson, followed by a Dolphins away or a Dolphins home uniform. Mark Barron, a most feared football. Tyvon Branch, Shamarco Thomas. Where is our most feared player? There he is. Mike Pinnell is going to be the last most feared player we get out of our monster packs. I do believe that was the last pack. Yeah, we have the most feared topper after this, which is a guaranteed elite player. Of course, we're looking for Khalil Mack. As long as we don't get Phil Lodholt, I'm going to be okay with it. Just something else other than him. And maybe like Prince and Mukamara. I think he's like 50K. Looking for anything else. So here we go, guys. Most feared topper about to pull it right now. Let's get hype. Let's get Khalil Mack. And we get a mo Okay, I forgot. There's a little bit of cards in here. And there he is. We got Clay Matthews. So 97 overall Clay Matthews. Like I said, I'm not going to be mad as long as it's not Phil Lodholt because I get him so many times when it's like a guarantee. I got him like twice already out of the elite uh, the elite set that you can do. I'm not even sure what you have to put in there. A whole bunch of collectibles and 10 random gold cards. And I've lost a lot of cards doing that and a lot of coins by trying to do that and just getting a Phil Lodholt, which really sucks. But uh, there was the pack opening. We do have enough points to open up one pro pack. Can we get lucky out of one single pro pack pro packs are always better than any pack in the game in my opinion if you get something good it's always out of a pro pack because you have a chance to get those 74 overall golds and just a countless amount of other things and we get a toby gerhardt so that's not gonna happen um but overall i mean uh, the bundle could have been a lot worse it could have been a lot better for sure like i really hope that london has a lot better luck than i do but i mean as long as i got a couple of good things and uh, i mean i'm not gonna say i'm not disappointed I mean, that's a lot of money to spend. I didn't buy the whole thing, by the way. I actually went half with my friend, who also comes on my account, plays solos and stuff like that. So uh, we didn't mind, you know, going half. But we did get three Dree Archers. There's a little recap. A couple of other silver players that probably don't go for a lot. Uh, Dree Archer, like I said, currently going for 15K. So that's 15K a piece. That's obviously a really good, you know, set of cards to pull there. Three Dree Archers. It could have been like uh, Eli Harold or something like that, which goes for like 3K. Um, but yeah, there's all our most feared players, 90 or 69 of them, almost at 96. Am I dyslexic? I don't know. But uh, we have Clay Matthews, whole bunch of collectibles, everything like that. So if you guys have pulled the monster bundle, let me know down in the comments below what your best pull was. Are you going to do the set for Brian Dawkins? Who are you having the most fun with playing with? Obviously, a lot of people are going to say Dre Archer, but is there anyone else that's like a hidden gem that I should know about? Um, I was thinking maybe like a Heady Bow. 
since free safeties are really fun to use or control. Maybe he'll be really fun to use. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish it off with one pro pack with coins, though. See what we can get. And we finish it off with a Jordy Nelson. So we finish off with an Elite. And that's going to be the video, guys. Go ahead, give it a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see some gameplays with these beasts. And also a hidden surprise, we might be playing with Brian Dawkins. I'm not sure yet. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see it. Talk to you guys later. Peace.